Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com and today I'm going to be reviewing another portfolio. Now this was uh, submitted by Prior Dave, an aspiring uh, digital sculptor and looks like this is the first project. Uh, this is the McLaren Artura. Um, actually, I think this model is quite good. Uh, lots of details. Uh, you can see the detail shots over here. The highlights are pretty good. Looks like this is a little description of the vehicle itself followed by renderings over here. Uh, looks like the second project consists of the latest Bugatti. Uh, yeah, On the, uh, I, th I think this also has a pretty good um, surface patches. Everything seems illogical. Um, on pretty decent highlight. Um, I don't think, yeah, no complaints here. Followed by another set of renderings. It looks like the third project is of a boat. Uh, it's always it's uh, it's not a bad idea to have a, something that is non-automotive uh, in your profile piece, so not bad there. And looks like this is a blender model. Um, I think the patches are pretty good. Uh, looks like this of a Corvette. Uh, quite a lot of details over here. I think a pretty clean patch structure. So yeah, another pretty good project. Of course, uh, renderings over here, uh, followed by some detail. Now, it is always a good idea to have uh, some of these details, um, detailed pieces that shows maybe like a, doing like an exploded view like this. Uh, obviously, not a bad idea to have it in your portfolio. All right, um, another project. It looks like this is an interior piece. Um, now, from the looks of it, it does look like it's uh, been uh, it's done in sub D. Again, rendered, uh, yeah, not overall, not a bad collection of projects. Now that we reviewed the entire portfolio, let's go through some of the goods. So I think the portfolio piece, especially the McLaren is uh, actually really good. Um, as you can see, the patches are very logical. If you look at the overall model, um, I think the curvature comb is pretty good. A nice continuation of G3 over here um, and also on the fenders. Um, so yeah, overall, I think this is a very strong model. It's got a lot of details. Um, the surface patches are very logical. It's nicely laid out. Um, yeah, I think this is quite a good piece to have. Um, although I do think that the detail shots, I, it, I think it would have been better if it was a little bit bigger, but overall, this is a very good project. Nice highlights. Um, as you can see over here, it's a very clean. Now I'm pretty sure there are areas that, that I could probably nitpick on, but overall, it's a very solid piece. Um, of course, it is always a good idea to have a rendering uh, just to show that you are able to, to have some, uh, you have some visualization skills, which is really good. All right, uh, so the second project over here is of a Bugatti. It's a latest edition, latest model from, um, from the company. Um, again, I think the model is good. Um, I, although I do think that there are a couple patches, well, a couple too many patches, but overall, I think Again, uh, quite logical layout of the surface patches. It's a pretty good structure. And again, the highlights are pretty good. Now there are, could be, a, there, I'm pretty sure there are areas that could probably be improved upon, especially the fender over here. But overall, I think this is also a another solid project. Another good thing about this portfolio is the fact that it's got a blender model. Now it's always a good idea to show that you can use, uh, utilize multiple software, not just Alias. And if you have a decent model like this, I think that's a, a very good plus to your portfolio. I think this, now I'm not too familiar with Blender, but uh, overall, I think the CV structure looks pretty good. Uh, it's a very nice model. It's got a lot of details, especially if you look at the detail shots over here, like a headlamp, the tail lamp, and all the texture and stuff. I think this is a very strong model to have. Of course, it's followed by renders, which looks pretty good. Uh, overall, not too bad. And another thing uh, is that it also shows a, a sub D uh, model, uh, which I believe this is. So that's always a good thing to have. The, the fact that you can do nerves, a sub D and blender, that's a very strong point to have. So obviously uh, it's a very good uh, to have, to show that you're able to uh, handle multiple mediums. Another thing that I like about this portfolio is the inclusion of this detailed piece of a taillight. Now, it is a exploded view and it's got a lot of details. Um, I think these kind of uh, projects are really good. It shows that you are able to uh, put together a really high quality model with a lot of details. 
Now, I'm not sure if this uh, is a based on a production model or if this is uh, based on the engineering criteria, but the fact that you can show this, I think this is a very positive point to have. Overall, I think this is a very good portfolio. It's got good models and it also has a good combination of projects. It's got both models and renderings. Um, it's got good component details. And the fact that it includes a sub D and also a blender model, I think makes it a very uh, strong portfolio overall. That said, however, I think there are a couple of things uh, that could be done to improve it. Now, one of the things that I did notice is the background color. Um, usually I stick with something a little bit more neutral. I think this is a little bit, a, a little bit too colorful, a little bit too saturated. So maybe toning it down a little bit might help because we want to focus on the models and not on the background. Another thing that I noticed was the layout within the page itself. So if you look at this page over here, you'll notice that all the images have a very similar size. Now that does make things a little bit boring. If you look at this one over here, you'll see that there is a very uh, dominant primary read and the secondary over here and the tertiary read over here. It gives a lot, uh, it adds a lot of dynamic element to, to the page and makes it more interesting. If I were to do, redo the layout of this page, since this has detailed shots, I would actually make them a little bit bigger and maybe take out some of, uh, some of the overall vehicle images because we already seen that in other pages. And maybe make this a little bit bigger and maybe um, make this a second biggest element and maybe add a third element over here. But I will rearrange it, uh, this page over here and some of uh, the other ones over here where the image size are a little bit similar. And I will just make sure that there is a dominant primary read, the secondary read, and a tertiary read. Now, besides rearranging the components within the page, I think the whole portfolio could also use a little bit of rearrangement. Um, so pages like these, I would actually make this a title page or something. Um, I think it's a little bit weird that it's a somewhere in the middle. Also pages like these, I think it's probably better to just leave it out because it doesn't really add anything to the portfolio. And also I would actually, um, as far as the entire portfolio goes, I would actually put the strongest projects in the end uh, to make the biggest impact on the viewer and maybe have uh, the lesser projects in the middle so that you are, well, making the biggest impact on the front and at the end instead of just in the middle. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is inclusion of this project over here. Now, it is always a good idea to include non-automotive projects. However, you must make sure that the quality is up to par. While it is an inclusion of another piece, a non-automotive piece, if you look at the surfacing over here, I don't think it's bad surfacing. It's just that it's a little bit simple. It doesn't really add to the portfolio. Now, if you compare this against a piece like this with a lot of detail or the McLaren Ultra over here, um, I don't think the quality is there. It doesn't really add to the overall portfolio because if you have a project that is a little bit lacking, it actually is a, could be a negative. Ima imagine you see all these great projects, including the Bugatti and also the McLaren, and you see something like this, you'll start to wonder, is this guy really good or is he just average at best? Because we, you know, when you are looking at a portfolio, it's an average of all the pieces within your portfolio. So if you have something that is might not be as strong, and if you just get rid of it, that's going to make your portfolio a little bit stronger overall. Overall, I think this is a pretty strong portfolio. As I've said it before, it's got good models, which is primary. It's got good combination projects. It's got both models and renderings, um, some component details. The fact that it includes a sub D and also Blender shows that you are able to do multiple softwares and also different techniques. Now, that said, uh, there are a couple of things that could be improved, such as the well, the background over here, um, I think the graphic design and layout could be a little bit uh, improved a little bit, such as uh, being able to read the first, the secondary, and the tertiary read. Uh, some unnecessary projects and unnecessary pages could be taken out just to make things a little bit bigger. And yeah, 
I think uh, if you just make those changes, I think this will be an even stronger portfolio than before. All right. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and Digital Sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.